Yes, my name is Ricardo Matlacas. Uh, I'm a performance artist, but also a painter and sculptor, street artist. Um, artist nowadays is a way of uh, being. It's not anymore someone who portrays uh, the reality, you know, because of photography and stuff. Uh, art, it, it goes beyond all that. So I think it's a, a way of living. It's a way of making people imagine a new world in their own head through your manifestation of work, through your manifestation of what, what you deliver to people. You can make people imagine things in a different way. I think the artist helps people to see beyond what they see usually. And also I think art is very spiritual. Art helps us to understand ourselves and to liberate us and to increase and develop our consciousness. I feel art for me is sort of religion. I'm not, uh, I'm not a religious, uh, I'm not a religious person, but I'm very spiritual in, uh, in the way that I think art is the key of understanding many things on earth. We create all the time. We, we think and we're already creating something. It's not manifested, but it's already a creation. So creation is a fundamental uh, tool that human beings have. And it's very important to create good things because we can, you know, as human beings, we can create good and bad things. And, uh, but I think when you really work truly in art, you can only create good things. You cannot destroy. You know, uh, I joined many residency programs in the world internationally, so I feel a little bit like a, an anthropologist when I work. I understand the culture, I connect with the people, I make friends and uh, I try to understand their way of living, their way of being, their beliefs, uh, their belief system and all that. So I really become, I become part of what I see and that becoming is really part of my work and uh, usually you know every residency have a, have a different vibe and now here in New York well in New York for me has always been uh, I always felt very connected with New York in fact here I feel like this is totally my environment although I always manifest myself in every place I go I always become what I need to become. But here I feel naturally I arrived already like a New Yorker. So every residency space gives me different inspirations to create new works and uh, suggest me, every place suggest me what needs to be done in the location where I am. Uh, okay, one thing I like to share is that for me, every residency program, you know, it has a beginning and an end. And every time you leave, it's like a little death. So, we, we learn a little bit how to die every time we leave a place, we leave the people we love, we leave the things we, we made. So it's really like a little death. And then when you arrive to the other side, uh, it's like a little resurrection again, and you start again, you rebuild, you rebuild your connections. So I think uh, somehow traveling for residency places, traveling for exhibitions, and then leave again, you have very deep, experiences but then you have to leave and it's a bit of a teaching of how to die slowly. There is one particular event in my life which was the death of my mother that was killed by someone so victim of feminicide uh, that really uh, strongly um, formed me uh, and also other other shitty family events but I think um, I've always been very curious about all art forms and I always wanted to be and try them. Uh, so I was a poet and uh, I did paintings and I continued, the dancer and all sculptor. And so our art makes me curious and because I'm curious, I'm very active. So that, that's what makes me an artist nowadays. And now I have plenty of experience, lots of things to show because I'm older. Uh, so yeah, I can, uh, I can, there's many, many things I've done and I can see all this path I've been, I've been working through. It's a, a huge one, although I'm, I'm averagely young, but I'm getting old, but I've done a lot of work so far. So that's what I guess shows that I'm an artist, but I'm an artist because my way of being. 
because my way of living, my way of sharing, my way of manifesting, and my way of thinking and connecting. Okay, that's the thing, struggle, struggle to find your voice. Because many artists try, some artists try to copy what they see, but actually your voice is the, it's the most beautiful thing, even if it's a, a little bit uh, not correct or is not following certain rules. Because it's your voice, it shines. So I tell you all, just be you, even if you do a uh, shitty drawing, it might be very interesting because it has something. And that something is something that AI and all that stuff maybe cannot imitate one day when they, they'll be super advanced. Because, you know, now you can ask AI, oh, I want to uh, portray with the, this and this, they do it. But when you, are, you have your own voice, you make a difference. So I, I guess keep your own voice, definitely.